Good morning, folks. We've got some incredible top articles for you today, but first, the Corona whole system sandbagged us and is about to get scarier. Hurricane tracks getting scary as well. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. You won't find sunspots or solar flares, and the plasma filaments are stable too, but hello trailing coronal hole. Now, the solar wind at Earth is only slightly intensified this morning. It's not from either Earth-facing stream just yet. They're still on the way as geomagnetic instability has begun to rise. The trailing portion of the opening was strongly veiled by coronal plasma running up the fields on its western boundary, but no more. She's big and she'll overcome the magnetic connection with Earth very shortly. Meanwhile, as we were tricked into fearing the first opening, the South Sandwich Islands have begun to go ballistic with numerous five-pointers the last day. Eyes open. Let's go next to Jebby, where curiosity is not a game for the faint of heart. Huge waves and wind pounded the southern coastline of Japan and did a fair amount of damage to the buildings and vehicles in the heart of the storm. This one has begun to move on, while focus comes to the Gulf next as Gordon is on land and will slowly creep up through the United States. But as it does so, take a look at the new Florence track. They now show a direct impact to South Carolina out at the end of the models, and with the GFS model showing similar tracks but many days between now and then, we will keep watching for updates to these daily. Sadly, we'll have to do the same for Hawaii since after the first storm is expected to pull north, looks like the second one might be modeled to hit the big island head on. We'll be monitoring that one too. Let's go to geophysics where the northwest U.S. volcanoes have been analyzed for electrical resistivity. The blue is resistant rock and the red is high electrical conductivity. They discovered that the reason Mount St. Helens isn't lined up with its nearby sister mountains is the massive resistant batholith that has split off material below. There's a very cool article out and link below on how young, nearly too faint to see stars are doing a good job illuminating the newborn planets around them. Interesting mining of the noisy data return. And speaking of noise, folks, our top story isn't flashy or animated or even coming with a featured image. It's about pink noise, though. We've got a team from Yale describing long-term oscillations in climate behavior, which may be vastly amplifying any CO2 effect that is real now. Basically, they're saying that Earth was in a warming phase anyway, and that any push that way would get amplified in a way that would make it appear drastically controlled by the effect. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.